How do you go from this to this? Today I'm going to show you one of the most used and abused landscape photo editing techniques. This is the Orton effect. You've probably already seen the Orton effect, even if you don't know it by name. If you've encountered a landscape photo with a soft, dreamy glow, there's a high chance this effect has been used. This technique was originally developed in the 1980s by Canadian landscape photographer Michael Orton, who was interested in replicating the look of watercolour paintings on film. Watercolour artists often use paint for the colours and broad strokes, while filling in small details with pen and ink. To replicate this, Orton would overlay a couple of film transparencies of the same scene. The first slide would be a detailed in-focus shot, and the second would be a blurry and overexposed shot. The resulting images have an ethereal, dreamlike quality to them. In the early 2000s, photo editing software like Photoshop allowed this effect to be created digitally, and its popularity exploded. Like anything with mass appeal, it couldn't escape Sturgeon's Law. It's a very polarizing technique, because some people tend to apply it to everything they shoot, to the point where it comes off looking tacky and unnatural. Like any photographic tool, it has its time and place. This popularity bled over into other forms of media, particularly video games. There were a few years when, no matter what platform you played on, you couldn't escape the blinding glow of HDR bloom. One of the most popular games to use and abuse this feature was The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. In this video I'm going to be using the Orton effect to recreate this Skyrim landscape look. First you're going to need a landscape shot, preferably from a mountain. Earlier this year, I went on a trip to Killarney, Ontario. This is where the Canadian Shield begins, and if you remember your high school geography, this is some of the most ancient rock on the planet. One of the most popular hikes in Killarney is the Crack. See that mountain? You can climb it. And it looks a little something like this.
as you reach the summit and stand ringed with the azure world, you can finally make your photograph. Once you have your image and have safely descended the mountainside, load it up into Photoshop. We'll be using layers instead of transparencies, so I'm going to start by duplicating the background layer and converting it into a smart object. Your background layer will be your in-focus shot and your duplicate will be your blurry but out-of-focus shot. First, I'll add some Gaussian blur to the duplicate layer. Let's leave it at 16 pixels. Next, I'll adjust the duplicate layer's blending mode to screen to make it look overexposed. Now, this is a bit too strong for my taste. So what I'm going to do is I will adjust the brightness of the layer to make it look more subtle. Let's do 100. And there you go. That's basically our Orton effect. Now, if we want to see how it stacks up to Skyrim, I can do a quick color match using the same technique from my previous video about Dune. And with that, we've transformed our Killarney crack into the dreamy fictional land of Skyrim. That's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you on the next one.